Hi folks, I'm here in the Mobile Cartography Command Center yet again, and today I'm gonna to bring you five really simple features you can add to your fantasy maps to make it look fantastic. I'm gonna use just two pens for this, Pigma Micron 02 and 005. It's the same two pens I almost always use. There's links in the description down below to get your own. No long intro required. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite when you get to the end. Let's get on with it. First up, we'll draw a mushroom wood, so let's call it the mushy wood. Start with a little curve for the edge of the mushroom and then add a slightly higher curve on top. I'll sketch them out real quick and we can get on with the inking. A good trick here is to leave your hand in the way. It makes for great tutorials. So you can see the shapes are really simple. I'll just add some stalks as well. And then with a thinner pen, we'll add some circles and marks to each one. Then we'll ground each stalk by drawing a little line out from the base of each one with our thinner pen still. Details like this can really help your features feel like part of the terrain. Next, I'll add some little lines for shadow on the top and stalk before finishing off with a few lumps on the ground, which could be more mushrooms growing around it. And there we go, there's a mushroom wood, or just an area with loads of mushrooms. For our second technique, we'll draw a volcano. Top marks if you can spot the reference here. We'll sketch out the mountain and then just chop the top off. Mine is quite detailed, but you can scale it down if you want to. For more info on how to draw a mountain, check the link on your screen right now. This is technique five. To make this look like a volcano, we'll add a dark area at the top to give it more depth and then we'll add in a bunch of shading. Once you've done all the shading, you can add in some smoke with some nice wavy lines. I've got a little bit mad on the details here, but I do love drawing mountains. The third technique is a stone circle. This is a really simple five stone arrangement, but you can do whatever you want on this. When you draw your stones, try and think of an isometric perspective. I use the thinnest pen I've got for these because I like to keep them small, and shadows on the ground also help with grounding them. So there we go, a little stone circle. The fourth technique, what better than a mimic hill? Stick this on your map and your players will be itching to visit. We'll draw a load of normal hills around one big one. On the big hill, we'll give it a mouth and in that mouth we'll draw some big teeth. You want to keep the teeth big because when you fill in black around them they'll shrink and I like to add a tongue just so there's no doubt. Now we'll add some shading and little indents on the hill and around the mouth. And you can finish it off with some detailing on the hills and maybe a little shadow under the tongue. There we go, doesn't that hill look pretty cool? The last technique is a portal, and again top marks if you can spot the reference. We'll start with just drawing a circle, and then we'll fit some sharp jagged hills around it. From the points of those jagged hills, using our thin pen, we'll draw some rough ridge lines coming off and give them a bit of detail, making sure we follow the contours, just like in the mountain drawing video. And just like always, we'll ground these in the map, so we'll add a little bit of detail around it, and then we'll just put in some rough circles for the portal. You can get as elaborate as you like with this. And that's it, our portal's done. All right, thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button below and subscribe for future videos as well. And don't forget, tell me in the comments which one you like the most. And if you use any of these, let me see. I love seeing your pictures. Loads of you have done so already. And it really makes my day. All right, I'll see you next time. Cheers.